these are nice. These are cherry barbs. Look at them. We'll take a look at the Asian arowana because I bet some of you guys are wondering how he's doing. I will give you a shout out. So make sure you start guessing. Hey guys and welcome back. I am Ryo Watanabe and today we're going to be getting some new fish for this tank right here. That is the Fluval Flex 15 gallon tank. Let's take a quick look at it. Right now there's only... Uh, let's take a look at Brownie over there. A hey, Brownie. Take a look at this. There's only a few fish in here right now. Well actually just three. Uh, right there you can see there's a cherry barb and two of these black phantoms. Some of the black phantoms died after I removed, right after I removed the blue-green algae that was covering this tank up. But it seems like the blue-green algae has completely disappeared. Because it hasn't grown back since then. So I'm really happy about that. So now we're gonna get some new tank mates for this tank. Today I'm just thinking of getting some red color fish for this tank right here. For this, yeah, that tank right there. Just to have a bit more bright colors um, popping out because who doesn't like bright colors? I want, I want some nice bright red colors in this tank. So let's head over to the fish store and check out what fish they have for us. We are here at 181 Aquarium, the store we always come to because, because we can. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of the fish here. We're, we're looking for a nice red color fish. I'm thinking of cherry barbs, but let's take a look and see what we can get. So this fish right here is really nice. The Colombian tetra. Look how beautiful they are. Their fins are red, but their bodies aren't red. This is awesome, but I think it's a bit too big for the fluval flex. These are sword tails. Take a look at those fish. Amazing. They're goldfish, but goldfish of course are way too big for the tank. These are nice. Red cap orandas, but they'll also grow to massive sizes. So I'm really thinking about getting these. These are cherry barbs. Look at them. So beautiful. So I think I'll be getting some of these today. These fish down here are really cool as well. Take a look at them. These are parrotfish and they, they grow pretty big. Their colors are really nice um, but because they grow big we can't keep them in a fluval flex tank. But look at them. So beautiful. And then over here we've got some red koi angelfish. These things are really nice. I've got one at home named Orange and we'll, we'll, we'll put a clip of him in here. Um, but yeah, so no angelfish for us since we have one at home. Take a look at this. These are guppies. Albino full red guppies. Let me try to focus in on them. It's a little bit hard. Albino full red together with some male um, albino sky blues. And they're really cool looking. Over here are the females. But we are gonna stick with the cherry barbs. Tie this thing up. Barbs in here. Now let's head back home. All right, guys, I'm back from the fish store. The cherry barbs here cost me 120 per fish, so that's six dollars for five of them. Let's go ahead, put them in the tank. We're gonna float them and acclimate them, and hopefully we can release them in just a short while. All right, first I'm gonna go ahead and take this top off. Well, I'm not um, completely gonna take it off, but just leave it hanging like that, and then grab the fish right here. And we're gonna float them in here. Let's check them out. So they are probably a bit stressed out right now, wondering what the heck is going on. Um, but they'll be fine in just a while. So the fish have now been in there for a few minutes. 
about 10 minutes, I suppose. Now I'm gonna take them out of the bag. I'm gonna put them in this little net right here, drain the water out, and then transfer them to the tank. All right, so the fish are in the tank now. You can see they're all at the corner over there. I'm gonna turn the light off right now, just, just for maybe a few hours um, so that they feel less stressed. Oh, they all disappeared. Yeah, but I'm just gonna leave it like this and check back in on them in a few hours. Hey guys, it is now the next day. I've got some pellets right here. Let's go ahead and feed the cherry barbs. The cherry barbs seem to be doing really well, so that's a great sign. Um, let me show you this pellet right here. It's called Ichiryu, and it's kind of faded, but it, it's, it works really well. I feed it for almost all my fish. Um, so let me go ahead, open this thing up, get a little pinch. All right, and we'll put it through this feeding hole. And, okay, I think I just scared all the fish away. Let's wait for a moment. Oh yeah, I did scare them all away. Oh, here they come. Look at that. First cherry barb is out. Oh, there's a second, third, and there's a black phantom. Take a look at that. And all the cherry barbs now are going nuts. Look at that, that's so amazing. Yeah, this thing is awesome. I've gotta wipe the glass a little bit. It's a bit dirty, but... Let me know what you guys think of this tank. Do we need more plants? I'm, I think this is really nice for now. I want to get some little quarries and let them sift the sand. I'm not too sure yet, but let me know what you guys think of this tank in the comment section down below. I'll check it out. These barbs are just really amazing. And they'll go down and pick up the food from the bottom. Right now I'll give you a quick look at some of the plants I have in this tank and then we'll take a look at the Asian arowana because I bet some of you guys are wondering how he's doing. But let's take a look at some of the plants in here. So I've got some Anubias coffeefolia right there. This thing is coffeefolia and it's one of my favorite plants. It's just so beautiful. You can see it's a bit yellow, a little bit, but um, it's doing perfectly fine. This right here is Anubias glabra minima. I hope I'm saying it correctly. And then I've got some normal Anubias nana right here. Right here as well. Um, what else do I have? So I've got a bunch of Anubias nana petite. This thing right here. I've got some on the bottom here. I used to have a Anubias coin, but I took that out of the tank and I put it in another tank. Um, but yeah, and I had a Anubias Golden as well, but I took that out because it wasn't doing so well. But check out those cherry barbs. They look really good in this tank. I forgot to mention, I also have a Marimo Moss Ball right here. Alright guys, so this right here is our Asian Arowana and he is doing really well. Look at his colors starting to come in and... I've got him in this tank with some other fish right now, but I can't tell you what fish he's in this tank with because... That's, that's for another video to come, but um, you'll get to see that in a few days. There was a point of time where this arowana completely stopped, well, he didn't completely stop eating, but his appetite was very low and he didn't seem very interested in food. And I was wondering what was going on, so I checked the water parameters and I realized that the pH had dropped all the way down to 4. So that was crazy, I wasn't, ha I wasn't sure how the pH went down that low, but... I, I raised it back up using some coral chips and now our arowana is doing perfectly fine. So that's great. Let's get some clips of him eating right now. That's all I've got for you today. If you're new to this channel, be sure to hit that red subscribe button down below so that you don't miss videos like this one, and I will see you next time. Hold on, before I go, try guessing in the comment section down below what fish I got for my Asian arowana tank. If you can guess correctly, I will give you a shout out in the video which I reveal that fish, so make sure you start guessing. It's not an easy fish to guess because you don't usually pair this fish with an arowana, so it's gonna be a bit tricky. I'm not sure if any of you will get it, but if you do, you'll get that shout out and I'll see you next time.